So like a fucking phone call came in. But nonetheless, I'm going to this. All right. This is Matthew 22 and 11. And when the king came uh, and to see the guest, all right, which is Yahweh the king coming to see the guest, he saw a man which had not a wedding garment. He said unto him, friend, how comest thou hither not having a wedding garment? And what's the wedding garment? The truth. The truth for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, ultimately, right? He was speechless. What? He had nothing to say. Hey, he had nothing to say. You know what this reminds me of? A nigga that's uh, come up another way. All right? And it, that don't come th uh, through the door. He coming up another way to the wedding, right? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot. Take him away and cast him into utter darkness. There should be whipping and gnashing of teeth, which is basically death. This destruction Yahweh Yahushai has come into this place. Because if you don't have the wedding garment on, what do you have? Strange apparel. Alright? You have strange apparel on, man. Okay? Which, spiritually, you have the wrong doctrine. You have the wrong breakdowns. Okay? And what you have is bullshit. Okay? I'm going to go from that to Matthew 16 and 11. How is it? Alright? That you do not understand that I have spoken uh, uh, it not to you concerning bread, but you should be rare of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Then understood they, they being the uh, disciples, how he bade them to beware of the leaven of bread, not to be beware, uh, beware of the leaven of bread, but the doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees, man. All right? So guess what? It, it, they added something to the recipe. Therefore, how should I say, hey, beware of it, because that ain't the truth. Okay? It's not the truth. So beware of the doctrine that they are giving out. Okay? This is Titus 1 and 10. And there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers. Short layman terms, there's many devils. All right? Many uh, uh, self-willed devils, man. Especially them of the circumcision. So especially them that know they're Israelites, right? Whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole housing, houses teaching things they ought not for filthy Lucas sake. And what's the things that you're teaching ought not, that you ought not to teach? Uh, 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 well, let's name them. All right? Esau could be saved. Esau's not going to be destroyed fully. Uh, Babylon the Great uh, is not America. All right? Hey, uh, 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 so-called UFOs, which are really the chariots of Israel, uh, are fucking clouds. Um, what else? Uh, the virgin birth. Uh, the RFID chip is embargo, so on and so forth, man. Okay? Those are those guys, man. Okay? And going back to that word, in brew, they have stained, they have soiled the truth. Okay? As far as their doctrine they're giving out. Because ultimately, you, you guys can never stain the truth, man. The truth is pure. All right? By you adding and taking away, you're you, you really bringing that condemnation upon yourself, man. All right? And that's pretty much it, man. You know, shit, I was hot off the spirit. That Hey, that was word of the day for me, man. All right? These guys are staining the truth, man. Okay? And that's what you don't want to do, man. Okay? You don't want to lean to your own, own understanding and stain the truth. Okay? Because there's dire consequences that come with that. So with that, I'm going to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, salutations to the elect.